Hi everyone, I'm Gary Kramlick, and welcome to the first episode of Floss Ramblings, where we talk about news and other happenings in the world of Floss. So, this weekend, news broke about a rumor that Microsoft might be buying GitHub. It should come as no surprise that a lot of people are very worried about this due to Microsoft's complicated past when it comes to Floss. So much so that earlier today, GitLab tweeted that they're seeing a 10 times increase in the number of created repositories over this weekend. Now, I've been very vocal that I'm not a fan of Microsoft, GitHub, or even Git for that matter, but ultimately, I think this is a good thing. We've been pretty stagnant when it comes to development tools since GitHub reached critical mass around 2010 or so. So any change here is welcomed as it causes people to look at alternatives again, and perhaps even develop some new innovations. Back in the early 2000s, I would use CVS, Subversion, and even Darks in the same day, and it was no big deal. When contributing to a project, you'd use the tooling that they used, and that was that. However, in the past couple of years, we as developers, both Floss and Proprietary alike, have somehow come to the conclusion that there is one true tool to rule them all. To make matters worse, many developers have become indignant to those that don't go with the flow. For instance, people refusing to contribute to a project because it's just not on GitHub. This mindset helped GitHub reach a critical mass of users and dominate the space ever since. Unfortunately, it also led to stagnation. Sure, we have integrated CI and pull requests now, but set those aside for a moment and you'll notice GitHub really doesn't offer much more than a user base from the other similar services and tools like Bitbucket, GitLab, SourceForge, Track, Redmine, RoadCode, Calithia, Gogs, and so on. They're all project management tools with an extremely similar feature set. They're just missing that GitHub user base. Also, we can't forget about the Dear GitHub letter that prominent open source projects wrote to GitHub in January of 2016. While GitHub ultimately addressed most of those issues, the fact is, the fact that it was necessary just goes to show how stagnant the service and therefore the state of development tools had become. So in the 10 years since GitHub launched, we have two big innovations and a handful of changes demanded by users. I'm sure I'm overlooking some things, but that just doesn't seem like enough to me. Regardless, this change might just be what's needed to rejuvenate this space and empower developers to build awesome software in the future. So with that, I think it's a good thing. I'm Gary Kramlick, and this has been Floss Ramblings. Thank you for watching.